everyone, it's Rachel and in this video I'm doing yet another timed polymer clay challenge and in this video I'll be making some kawaii present charms seeing as it's coming very close to Christmas. So I will be making these charms in 5 minute, 3 minute and then 1 minute intervals. But before I begin I just wanted to show you that I have all my clay preconditioned and my tools ready to go. So before I start the actual challenge, I'm going ahead and making a present charm at my own pace. And this is just so that I can see how long it would usually take me to make one. So this is what it ended up looking like. And it took me a total of 7 minutes and 28 seconds, which I was feeling okay with. So going into this, I was pretty confident because I really only had to knock off 2 minutes for the 5 minute challenge anyway. So beginning the five minute challenge, um, I started off by taking my white clay and then shaping it into a cube for the present. This clip is actually sped up by double speed, so if you do notice me working really quickly or the time going quicker, that is why. So I shaped it into a cube with my fingers and then tried to also perfect the shape on my work surface. Next up, I took my pink clay, which I was going to use for the ribbon, and then flatten it down using my rolling pin. I trimmed off the excess along the sides using my long blade and then I just went ahead and added this around the present. If you were wondering, I do have an actual tutorial on a kawaii present charm, so I'll leave that link down below in the description box if you'd like to check it out once this video is finished. this point I still had about two and a half minutes to go and only the face and the bow left to make so I was feeling pretty good about this but I don't know if I got like a little too cocky or something because I do end up running out of time but anyway um, for the face I took some brown clay and then rolled two small pieces into balls and then added them in for the eyes and then I just had to work on the mouth so I rolled a thin really thin coil of the brown clay and then cut off a tiny little section for the mouth and then added it on. So making the face took up over a minute of my time and then I realized I only had about 40 seconds left to make the actual bow. So because I didn't have any pink clay left, I had to go ahead and make another snake and then roll it down. And then um, I kind of quickly, really quickly threw one together because I only had 10 seconds and I just wanted to get it on there. So it's not shaped uh, perfect or anything, but it is on there. And yeah, I think the reason that I did run out of time was because I did get a little too confident and I worked too long on the face. Now moving on to the three minute challenge. Um, this clip again is also sped up just not as fast as in the five minute clip. So I took my white clay and then rolled it into a ball and then shaped it into a cube using my fingers and then also perfected that shape down on my work surface. So making the actual shape of the present took about 40 seconds, which was probably too long. Next up I took my pink clay and then I rolled it down. I did try to make more this time because I learnt from last time that um, it will save me a lot of time if I do. So yeah, flatten it down a couple of times with my rolling pin and then quickly cut off the excess using my long blade. As you can see, I cut off a little piece to save for later, and then I just went ahead and wrapped the rest around. I didn't have time to perfectly cut it or anything, so I just wrapped it all the way around twice instead of like um, cutting it and then stopping and cutting it and stopping, just to save time. I then moved on to the face with the brown clay, so I took two small sections and then rolled these into balls and then added them on the front of the charm for the eyes. 
and then here I'm working on the mouth and I took a small piece of scrap paper to help me roll it thinner and then just attached on the mouth which probably wasn't as perfect as I would have liked but again I'm running out of time and then I went back and made the bow so I took that piece that I saved before and I just curved it into the center to make the bow shape but I did actually run out of time to make the little centerpiece as well. And I knew I'd run out of time, so I just quickly added on the cheeks with my chalk pastel. And I did actually forget to show you the finished charm, but you'll see it later anyway. Now we are moving on to the very fast paced one minute challenge. So I do have to work a lot quicker here and time goes extremely quickly. So I just really roughly shaped the present into a cube. I didn't even worry about perfecting it because I knew I wouldn't have time. I then took my pink clay and rolled it into a really rough snake. Um, I think I do flatten it down with my rolling pin. I did have time for that. Yeah, I do. But I don't cut off the excess because I just don't have time for that. So I quickly wrap it around my present and I don't actually have time to pick up my blade and use it. So I just kind of cut it using my fingernail. Then I realized I only have 20 seconds left and I still have the bow and the face to make. So with the pink clay in my hand, I just kind of like bunched it all together, hoping it looked like a bow and stuck it on top of the present. And then with 12 seconds left, I am making the face. So I just took two big bits of brown clay and added them on. And then for the mouth, I just kind of had three seconds left and just kind of threw a little piece on between the eyes. And then that's the one minute charm. And then here you can see them all and I just went ahead and baked those in my oven and then here we'll compare them. So this one that I'm holding here is my normal paste one which took me about 7 minutes. This one here is the 5 minute one which does look fairly similar. Some of the blending isn't as perfect and I did kind of run out of time to perfect the bow but overall I think it's pretty okay. And then here we have the three minute present charm, which I do actually think still looks okay. I am pretty impressed with the details I was able to get on there and it does still look like a kawaii present. It's just that I didn't completely get to finish the bow and the mouth isn't perfect, but that's all right. And then finally we have my little present charm that I made in one minute. So I don't know if it looks like a present charm or just a bunch of clay just kind of smashed together. But this is what it ended up looking like. It is very rough as you can see and that bow is not even a bow, it's just a mash of clay. And then of course the face is huge. But it does look like a face. You can definitely tell that they are eyes and a very large mouth in the center. But anyway, so if you enjoyed this time challenge, please give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for my channel for more videos and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.